Hello, good people, and welcome to Finest Skills Hub. Here we learn, we connect, and we grow. In a short video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks you can use to clearly communicate insights to your users when you are building dashboards. And here we are going to learn how to use dynamic chat labels. It helps put your labels in context. I'll show you an example using a dashboard I built to track eLevy's collection in Ghana. So join me in Excel and let's go through this in five minutes. Okay, so here is my dashboard and the idea is to track how much we've achieved against our projections. So this e-levy tax collection started in May, even though we had a projection for April. The projection was that we'll bring in half a billion and you see that we have 0% of that target here and we have an empty Ghana map but when it comes to May we were able to bring 8.1% of 487 million which is just about 39 million again you have the dynamic label showing us how much we achieved out of this target and the map is gradually filling then you look at June, so in June, again, we brought in 13% of that monthly target. So it is this dynamic label that would help your users see your actual over target as you use your slices to toggle through, right? The same thing that we've done here over our annual projection. So the annual projection is 6.9 billion and over here you realize that if you use the maze target or you clear everything, we've achieved 1.3% of that 6.93 billion. So we are going to learn some few tricks, especially how we created this dynamic label and then also how you can use slices to be giving you monthly targets and annual calculations as well. So let's get this done. Okay, so it's a very simple table. So I have each month in one column and then I have the projections here and we have the actuals here. Okay, then I have calculated the monthly target. So the monthly target essentially is whatever is displayed in the table, it will sum it up. And here I can use a slicer, okay, to show particular months or a couple of months instead of all. If you are using a recent version of Excel, you know that you can insert a slicer which allows you to filter a table directly in a table. So I'm standing in this table. I'll go to insert, okay, and I will insert a slicer. So a slicer can be on any of these columns. I want month, so I'll check month and then I'll click OK. So this is the slicer that you saw here. Okay, so of course with slicers you have the option to break it down into columns so i can have this display instead of the vertical display right so basic idea is that instead of going through hard calculations if i select april this shows me only april's record the projection against actual if i select may if i select june in that order if i clear then i get a display of all that so Let's walk through how we calculated this. So for the monthly target, if you have a dynamic display of the content of a table using slices, you can use subtotal. Okay, so subtotal will only give you what is displayed based on the operation that you choose. So equal to subtotal, there are options here. So I will use nine for sum and I'll bring a comma. Then produce the column, I have my numbers. So I am summing up whatever is displayed in projected. And then I'll close this. So currently I have selected all months. So if I do only May, then I get only May. I can do multiple selection by pressing Ctrl and then selecting the months I am interested in. So here I can do May and June. Alternatively, you could use this icon, okay, and then do multiple selection. Okay. So either way, you can you can see one record. Or multiple records so I'll copy this right Control R 
and then I'll change the column to actual for this one okay so I now have my monthly target based on my slicer here I can easily calculate my percentage achieved so I have six percent now for the charts that you saw here which you probably go through in other in another video okay I need to calculate the percentage we've not achieved and this is the gray area in this annual target and then this whole white space is the other one okay so this is a simple one minus this target okay now this dynamic label which shows us how much we've achieved in a simple phrase okay is what we are going to learn so I'll clear this so the basic idea is that I'm going to use the function called text okay to format this as you see it so text allows you to take a value so I'll take this value and then bring in the text format okay so the text format is always in double quotes so you can bring a double quote and then you provide how it should be okay so here I want this in a one decimal percentage format so I'll bring a zero okay dot zero and then I'll bring my percentage okay and then I'll close my double quote when I close this function I get 6.4 percent which is text with this I can add on any word text or extra label okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to join with an ampersand so it helps me join other text or labels to this so I'll bring off with a space okay and then currently this is what I have okay so 6.4 percent off so because of the denomination of these numbers it will be useful for the user to see all these in billions okay so I'm going to introduce the ampersand again to join the remaining part of this phrase so I'll bring text select my target okay and then I'll bring a comma so this is in billions so it means we have nine zeros separated by commas right so the first set is here the second set of zeros is here and then the third set of zeros here so a way to knock off these zeros okay is to bring commas so I want to read the final value okay in three decimal place so I'll bring my double quote 0 0.000 so this is the three decimal place that I want when I'm expressing it in billions okay and because I'm expressing in billions I'm going to knock off each set of zeros with one comma right so this first zero knocks off the last part the second one knocks off this middle part okay and then the third one will denominate the whole value in billions okay so I'll close my double quote from here and then let's see what we have so far so I have 1.462 billion the last thing that is left is to bring in the text billion so again I'm joining this with another ampersand and then I'll bring a double quote with a space and then put in billion close my double quote okay so with this I can now express the label fully so that you can now see how much has been achieved over the target so if I use May you see that I have 8.1 percent off half a billion and then June like that okay so this way when you come back and then insert this in the text box it is easier for your user to appreciate how much you've achieved over a certain target so please practice and add this to your Excel and dashboard tricks. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your WhatsApp, you can send ad to this WhatsApp number. We'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly. You can also visit our YouTube channel, Finest Skills Hub. All our old videos are here. Please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.